Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com, and welcome to this WordPress plugin course. This one, we're going to be building a contact form, and I, I have sort of cheekily given this the name, the simplest, the world's simplest contact form. So it's going to be a really basic sort of contact form that allows you to have a form on your page, on your WordPress site in a page, collect that data, and then be able to view it in your back end, and really not a lot more than that. And... The whole idea of this course is to introduce you to WordPress plugin building. So this isn't going to be a complete A to Z, everything you could ever want to know sort of thing. It's really meant as an introduction to show you some of the basic concepts, how you put your folder structure together, how you actually even you know, connect a, a plugin with WordPress and get things to work together and some of the basic built-in functions that you might use and so forth. So really meant as an introduction and then hopefully I'll be able to do future courses where I, I sort of build upon what we do here. So with that said, let me go ahead and show you what just what this does real quick. So we have, as I mentioned here, we have a contact form. This is embedded into a page on my site using a short code. You can see right here. And when we come here and we'll just fill this out real simply. So we'll put my name uh that's fine we'll do website and we'll just type something like this so name email website and message and we'll hit submit and you can see it says your message was submitted successfully and if we come over here on in the menu in wordpress this adds a new menu item here called feedback. Now you see I have this one down here. This is actually comes from my theme that I'm using on this site. So just ignore this when you see this throughout the tutorial. This is the one that we're looking at. So if we look at feedback and we, we go to this page, you can see here that I now have some feedback in here and a couple things I want to show you. We'll drag this over. You see that we have some custom columns. So it actually shows the email, the website, and the excerpt. We can click on this and this will take us into the actual feedback that was posted. You can see this actually looks like a WordPress post. We'll talk about sort of why that is and what we're doing here to make it look like that. But you can read the message, you could edit, you could pretty much do anything that you could with a post. You can see we have the email here. If you look down in the bottom left down here, you'll see when I hover over that, it says mail to. And then we have the website that's clickable as well that we could go to. So pretty straightforward and basic, but allows, again, you put a form on your page, people can submit that form, you get feedback here that you can then read through. So very, very, very simple. It also, uh, actually, if we go over to see if I can find my mailbox here. And if we come up here, uh, I got some email in here that maybe. Okay, so if we come here, you can see that I have this message that got sent as well. So you have new feedback here, the details, and then they, you can click this. So I'll, I'll go ahead and click that. And you can see it, uh, here on my site, it takes me right to, the, to the, that feedback, that reply or whatever. So stores it in, the, uh, in WordPress, also sends an email to any admins. We'll actually loop through and get all the admins and, and send them an email. So pretty straightforward, that's what the plugin does. So let's sort of dive in and talk about how to do this. So the first thing that we need to talk about